Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is sponsored by GT Shine, which is a professional car care company that has sent me a couple products that I would like to show you guys today. The GT Shine Quick Ceramic Spray delivers one coat long-term protection and a deep shine that lasts up to three months. It's quick and easy to apply at home. You can apply it onto a dry car or you can apply it onto a wet car and use the GT Twist Towel to dry it off. It creates a strong ceramic coating and a deep shine. It repels water, bug splatter, and, and bird droppings. It protects against scratches, UV rays, and fading. If you go to their website now, there's a risk-free 45-day trial that you guys can go on ahead and try out and see how you like it. Next to that, we have the GT Twist Drying Towel. It leaves no watermarks or streaks or spots, even on windows. It's easy to handle. It's a plush microfiber, it's safe on any sensitive surfaces, and a single trowel will dry an entire SUV without even wringing it once. The good thing about this is it comes with a four year replacement guarantee. It's built to outperform the competition. It's made to last over 200 plus wash cycles or four plus years. So as you can see, this stuff works really well. I especially like the towel a lot because it really does dry the car off in, in no time at all. Even a big SUV, you don't even have to wring it out. It's such a thick towel, it gets all of the water and it doesn't leave any streaks or any spots at all. So if you guys wanna check this stuff out, I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, make sure you do click on that link and order through that link because that helps me out and I really appreciate it. Also, you can if you use the code uh, helping hand, that'll get you 10% off of your order. So it's pretty much a win-win. Check their stuff out. They have a lot of good products. You don't just have to buy the towel or the spray. You can buy whatever that's on the website. And if you use the code helping hand, like I said, you'll get 10% off of your order. That being said, let's get right back into the video. Hello, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today I should have a pretty short video showing you how to replace the accumulator, aka re, you know dryer, whatever you want to call it for the AC system. I am working on a 2001 GMC Yukon XL. Uh, this will be the same for all of the 2000 to 2006 Chevy trucks, uh, full size SUV, Tahoes, Sierras, Silverados, etc. They all have a very, very similar setup to this. Granted, some of them don't have rear AC, so they might look a little different, but they pretty much all, you know, accomplish the same thing. Uh, this may actually work for some of the newer Chevys as well. I don't imagine they change the design very much, but let's just get right into it. The first thing you will actually want to do before you get started on this is to have the AC system uh, evacuated or pretty much vacuumed out so they can get any Freon you have in there. Uh, they can get it out. Just make sure that you get it all evacuated. Otherwise, if you pop off one of these lines, um, all the Freon is just going to shoot out all over the place. So before you get to working on it, the first thing you'll need to do is to disconnect this electrical connector. It's usually popped right here onto the side of the accumulator on the AC pressure switch. You will have to later transfer this switch over to your new uh, accumulator. But Aside from that, the next thing you would have to do is just to remove the various lines. This truck has rear AC, so there's an additional hose up here that runs down towards the back. If your car doesn't have, or your truck doesn't have rear AC, it probably won't even have this line right here. It'll probably just be one line that goes into the front. But nonetheless, these should be all, I believe, 13 millimeter screws. Yep, they are. So you can just remove them one by one. I had this evacuated this morning. There could still be some residual you know, free on in the system, hopefully not, but go ahead and just take off this top one. All right, so after I got those lines detached, there is one more um, bolt that was right here. That's just down there where that empty stud is down there. It was just a 10 millimeter that was holding that on. Uh, looks like this. So it was just a 10 that was holding that on. 
Next thing you're going to want to do is to remove this here screw and then transfer this all this you know insulation I mean I know mine's a little beat up but just transfer it over to the new accumulator and you're going to want to transfer this pressure switch over to the new accumulator as well and then you can just reinstall it. Okay, so got that installed. Now the um, absolute last thing you can do, well I should have did before I put this on, but it really doesn't matter, is right here there's usually studs that come out that are on the other accumulator. Uh, these studs right here, these two studs, this one and this one, we need to go on ahead and remove these studs off of here and install them on there. Uh, these are a Torx type screw, as you can see it's like a you're gonna to need to use a female Torx. Uh, let me see what size you guys need and I will let you guys know. So the size you need to take this off is this type of a socket here. It's an E7 Torx. It's a female Torx. Not to be confused with like a T30 or a T50 or whatever. This is an E7. And it'll just go right on there. And then we can use the ratchet to go on ahead and remove it. Got the accumulator reinstalled, the new one. So now you just need to take it to your local AC shop and have them, um, you know, charge it up for you. Don't forget to reconnect that uh, pressure sensor that's on the side over there. Um, aside from that, should be good. So I hope this guys, I hope this helps you guys out. This is a really easy job. You could definitely do this at your house. All you need is a 13 millimeter socket a 10 millimeter socket and you know obviously the ratchet and a Torx E7 for this particular truck so um, if you guys like this please hit the like button hit the subscribe button share the video and I will catch you guys on the next one